Sorry guys, the video cut short again, and I realized I shouldn't have put dirt up there. Huh. Okay. So, yes, cactus farm. So, the cactus we will place right here. When a cactus grows, it will knock off a piece, and we can come by and collect it. Um, so yeah, it's an automatic cactus farm. Yes, yes, the melons, they're growing, they're growing. Now I need to get one of these trees to grow, that'd be nice. I really ought to work on a mob farm. That'll take a lot of work, especially with only one bucket. Um, that's going to suck. Okay. Mm -hmm. What is there to do at the moment? I mean... All that there is really to do would be to, like, harvest cobblestone, or, like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know. Place some torches out here. Stop things from spawning in. Hmm. some torches right there too oh yes 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 tree grew <laughs> uh, I might just expand this one more making stupid noises again. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea for me to be carrying the bucket while I'm doing stuff like this. You know, but I'm a risk taker. I risk it all. Risk. Okay, so now we can harvest this tree. Tree. So, to keep ourselves ahead, we need to get at least one sapling for every tree we cut down. At least. So, we need to make sure that we get a sapling. I mean, if for some reason a sapling does not appear, it's not a huge deal, but we really need a sapling. And it looks like it's becoming night, and I'm getting worried. There's one. Okay, so we're even right now. We don't we don't actually need to continue, but choose to. All right. Um, There's another sapling. Oh, you almost fell off. Did one? One might have fell down. Didn't know. Was not paying attention. Ugh. So, um, yeah, it, another tree just grew, that's cool, that is good. Um, so, tell me if you guys want to watch any other Let's Plays, I mean, I have a Let's, alright, I, I, I have like other games that someone just messaged me on Facebook. Um, I have other games, like Fallout. And stuff. I don't know if you guys want to see that. I'm pretty far in Fallout. Like I'm like a level 40 something. So yes, these trees are growing. They're growing. I'm like a level 40. So if I was gonna do that, I'd probably have to restart. Cause, and I mean, I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, Fallout's a great game. It's definitely, whew, it's it's a good game. I'm also planning on probably getting like Bloodborne and maybe Dark Siders. No, not Dark Siders. Dark Souls. Dark Souls 2. Yeah, so maybe you want to watch that. I don't know. Maybe you guys don't prefer any games. Maybe you just want me to stop making videos because I'm an embarrassment to the internet. I don't know. <sighs> well, I think when... Um, I think the next time the video... Like, I think when we leave off... I'm gonna get like 10 stacks of cobblestone or something and uh, I'll get like 10 stacks of cobblestone so that we can er, start building on the mob spawner because um, 
Like, I really need bones. As you can see, this is a slow process. I need bones for those. I need bones for those. I need, you know, I need bones. Also like some arrows. I'd also like some zombie flesh so I don't have to use this for some reason. I would also like TNT for no reason so, you know, I can like waste some sand and make some TNT and just blow it all up, you know. I I don't like I don't I don't need gunpowder. But oh well. Um Oh yeah, that's another thing. If you guys wanted me to do that bonus chest, uh, would you guys want like me to throw like an enchantment table in there so I could enchant some gear, you know? Because um, I am actually planning on making an iron farm. That's what these are for, is for eventually getting to the point of having an iron farm. Um, because iron is a um, can be reproduced by villagers. Uh, th like, the way that villagers can make um, unlimited iron is basically they I would set up kind of like a pseudo village pseudo um, means like a fake one so that um, they would think that they're in a village and they would populate enough to get I believe it's 16 villagers to produce an iron golem and I would eventually make an iron golem farm the iron golem farm would, um, like, I would kill the iron golem eventually with some type of contraption. Kill him eventually. And then they do actually drop, like, five iron and, um, in, like, rows or something. So that, um, yeah, I can actually have unlimited iron. Technically, it would be an iron farm. And, uh, yeah, I could, like, stack them on top of each other and, you know, obtain a lot of iron doing that. So, I mean, I would be able to actually get, like, iron pickaxes and iron, like, swords and stuff and a bunch of stuff and, like, iron gear, like, armor, actually. Um, I was also planning on building a slime farm. I don't know if I previously mentioned that. I'm sure I probably did, but, like, I'm not positive. But, um, the, like, um... I think I mentioned it by, like, me saying I have the map. Um, basically, slime spawn on um, a tenth of the uh, of the world. Like, for every... Basically, Minecraft is laid out in chunks. Chunks are 16 by 16 squares. So, this is, like, an 8 by 8. Imagine this times 4. So, like, another one there, another one there, another one there. It would be, like, this size. And, um, uh, like, th like, every, like, a tenth of the world is, like, okay, <laughs> I'm really terrible at explaining this. These, um, you make a 16 by 16 square, which is four of these put together, you know, in a square. Ooh, whoa, oh, they already grew sweet. Okay, we can finally get our hunger, like, back, uh, that's great. Um... So what was I saying? <laughs> the um, slimes will spawn in a specific, like, chunks, okay? So there's, like, there's a bunch of these squares that make up the world. So, like, this whole world is made up of 16 by 16 areas. And in each area, like, um, they randomly assign. So, like, it'll randomly assign if there's, like, a nether, or not a nether, a, a stronghold for, like, an end a village spawning, you know, it's, um, it, it's all, like, it's, it's, like, mathematically produced like that, so, um, like, a tenth of those, uh, contain slime chunks, and you take your seed number and put it into, like, a slime calculator, or you can actually do, like, the mathematical formula, formula yourself, and, um, oh, pumpkin, um, not pumpkin, uh, cactus, Sweet. Um, so yeah, this world is turning out good. I like it. I'm liking it. What if I just walked into that cactus and it killed me? That would have sucked. Um, so yeah, I plan on like um, slimes only spawn from like bedrock level, which is down there, and um, to like level forty. So it's actually quite a distance down there. It's probably like about a hundred blocks. It's like 120 blocks from where I am right now to the f floor, so I'd have to go down, 
to about 30 blocks from the top with like a water bucket like I did to uh, build this and I would have to like basically build a 16 by 16 area down there and there's no telling where one of those could be like I could actually have no slime farms or like snow slimes um, chunks around me so it really depends but um yeah I really kind of want to do that like I've uh, I feel like that'd be cool in the in the sky block I don't know how many people have actually done that um but yeah it'd be pretty cool if I was like the first but I doubt it um so yeah make a slime farm down there have slime balls and I could actually no wait actually I can't I can't make sticky pistons because I don't have any redstone unless maybe a villager could trade for like something like maybe I give them like fish or something and or like wheat and then they give me a um then they give me like an emerald and I could trade the emerald for uh, redstone maybe I'm not positive but maybe that's how it works so um, yeah that's about all there is to do in this episode next episode we will definitely be working on the slime uh, not the slime farm the mob spawner and I'm really excited so till the next episode um, this has been Baker and yeah peace